so it was an Estonian guy uh, who, who said, Frank, uh, you were such a fish in poker. And I said, well, I'm better than you. And, and he was a professional player. And he said, but you, you are a fish. And I said, well, I'm better than you. And, and then we argued a bit. And this was, funnily enough, also in another event of mine in Bulgaria, but this happened. And, uh, well, we, we argued a bit for, for a day or so. And then we said, okay, let's settle, let's settle a bet. <laughs> So then we agreed to play heads up, best out of three. Uh, loser has to live in a country of the winner's choice for a year. Mm, for a year? Yeah, you need to change post address, you, you need to move there. But oh. you could travel from there, etc. but you need to do the full move. Right. And, and, and you know, tax address, everything, yeah, taxation address. And then uh, we both realized it's quite a big bet and we have girlfriends that might complain. So, so we had a, a buyout, and the sure. buyout was one month you cannot leave, so you have to stay for f- full 30 days in a village of the winner's choice wherever in Europe. Right. And then the third buyout was to go to Facebook every day for 365 days and record a call, a live stream, when you transfer five euros. And if you miss one day, you have to start again. And uh, of course, I crushed him. Like, I, I, like people, there, there was quite an audience. We were like 30 persons watching that game. Uh-huh. And, and people actually said, like, wow, Frank, you know how to play poker. You know, I crushed him. I crushed him in whatever discipline. It was ridiculous. I, I really crushed. So in two games, it was over. And of course, the cards were with me. And, you know, I, I was lucky. But I was very concentrated. It was a big, big bet. And, uh, and then I sent him to Italy. <laughs> Uh, so, did, did he do it for a year? Did he actually go? Yeah, no, then he, he talked to his girlfriend and she said, blank, no, you're not going there. And uh, then he bought us out and then I had uh, a week time to, to figure out where I should send him. So then I, I scored the internet and I really checked in. And, you, know, you want to send the guy to a small village where there's no lake and no roads, no, no through traffic, you know, a dead village somewhere. So I found this beautiful little village in the border between Poland and Ukraine. We took about four and a half hours to the nearest airport, two hours to the nearest highway. I mean, yeah, he accepted it. He was not so happy. Uh-huh. And then, well, then what happened, the po- poker media started to write about it. And uh-huh. then somehow, the, the Polish national media got wind of it. No. So it became like, is it an insult to stay a month in a Polish <laughs> village? So we were in Times Magazine Poland, we were in two different TV shows. To zawodowy pokerzysta, Estończyk Jan Arkokk, który przegrał zakład z innym profesjonalnym graczem, oto kto poradzi sobie lepiej w turnieju. Stawką było zamieszkanie na miesiąc w największej dziurze Unii Europejskiej. Like, it went, went upside down, the whole thing, the whole bet. So the mayor of this city called in, or this uh, village, called in everyone around. So when he arrived, on the uh-huh. day he arrived, he was already a celebrity, and they threw a party for him. <laughs> and then he had the month of his life. I used to poker tournament, free roll there. I mean, it, it was amazing, he said. Wow. So, so uh, Cash Game Festival, thanks to this prophet, got a lot of, of media attention. Uh-huh. Poland, you know, showed everyone that this village was amazing. And then comes the best part. The guy who invented uh, the TV series Transformers is the same guy who invented whole car technology in Poker Table. Seriously? He is from this village. Yeah, yeah. But from that village? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the random totally village crazy. you picked. How is that possible? Uh, maybe I did some research before. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. All right, oh, we're, oh, we're, we're talk- oh is the, this, this is the uh, uh, selective randomness. Right, yes, okay, yes. okay, yeah, so, right. Yeah, but the story is better without me admitting. But I, you know, I'm a farmer. I, 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 I might cut it out. I might cut it out. You know. <laughs> <laughs>